Welcome to Security Analytics in OpenSearch. This tutorial will show you how to use our new feature, Threat Intelligence Feeds. Threat Intelligence Feeds is a threat detection feature that provides users with a continuous stream of up-to-date information about emerging cyber threats, vulnerabilities, and attack patterns by using a freely available threat intelligence database to periodically fetch and flag indicators of compromise such as malicious IP addresses. This video will show you how to create a detector with threat intelligence enabled through both the interface and API calls. To get started, we'll first create an index for a network log type called network log index with properties destination IP and source IP. We will then create a detector using the interface with threat intelligence enabled. First, we'll name our detector Threat Intel. We will then select our data source to point to the index that we just created. Next, we'll select our log type as Network. Now we can select additional rules to configure our detector with. For simplicity, I will choose Cisco Clear Logs. And then here we can see that Threat Intelligence Feeds is automatically enabled for us, and that this feature will match your data source against known malicious IP addresses. Next, we'll define our trigger. Again, Threat Intelligence is automatically enabled for us, and that an alert will be generated when any match is found by the Threat Intelligence Feed. And lastly, we'll select the notification channel in which we want to notify um, when an alert is generated. Congrats, the detector is created. We will now go back to insert a test document containing a malicious IP address. Here we will insert a document with a malicious source IP address. And after a minute, we will see a finding generated containing the document that the finding was generated with, as well as a notification in the channel we set up. Here we see the detector configuration with Threat Intelligence enabled. And here is our finding. And if we click here, we can see the index, the document ID, as well as the specific field that generated the finding, which in our case was source IP. Additionally, we can also see where we got the threat intelligence feed from, which was Alien Vault Reputation IP database, and that this finding severity is set to high. We can also reproduce all these steps using only the dev console and API calls. Recreating the first few steps, we will first create a new index for a CloudTrail log type. Then we will create a new detector with threat intelligence enabled set to true. I'll also grab the detector ID here. Then we will insert a test document with a malicious IP and we'll be able to get our findings as well. And here's a finding generated with the second detector we created. And here we can see the query that the detector used to generate the findings for us. Additionally, we can also see the document that generated the finding. And there you have it, two security analytics detectors with threat intelligence enabled.